Okay, let's install Project Libre in uh, Ubuntu Linux. Go to the Project Libre off, uh, website. I can't remember what it is. I think it's .org. Yeah. Go straight to the download page. Uh, this will take you to a SourceForge p SourceForge page uh, where you can download the package. It's an RPM file. Um, now the the trouble with this for Ubuntu Linux is we want DB files rather than RPM, so we're going to convert it. So just go ahead and save that and let it download, and that'll download to your um, downloads folder. I've already done this. Uh, it's in here somewhere. There you go. So what we're going to go is we're going to go to Terminal, Control Alt T, and ideally we'd want to be in the downloads directory. Now sometimes a shortcut for this it doesn't do it on here but just for your future knowledge let's say you're you've got a, a folder here that you want to be you open up in terminal you can right click on it and choose open in terminal and it'll take you straight to that folder uh, path it doesn't actually do it for these uh, which is awkward so we're just gonna uh, change into that directory so I'll type CD space download downloads I should say um, now we're going to use a package called, uh, sorry, a program called Alien, and it's going to convert the RPM file that we downloaded into the uh, DEB file type that we need for uh, installing an Ubuntu. Um, now I've already got Alien installed. If I just type Alien, it comes up with these options. So just type Alien, chances are it's not installed, and you're going to need to type in... Uh, I'll put these in the notes. I've pressed Control C to copy that, but you can't do Control V in here. You've got to do Shift Control V. Uh, put my password in. I've already got it anyway, but you know, I'll see what happens. My, an update's fine by me. Uh, I'll just read that command out. So it's sudo apt-get install alien dpkg dash dev deb helper build dash essential. You can see what's going to happen next with these commands. Anyway, now that that's in, we're going to do a sudo alien. I'll just copy that one. Uh, control, sorry, shift control V. We're going to change it from package name RPM to the actual package name uh, Project Libre. I'm not sure why uh, it's this clunky to do. Really, just a DB file would have been. Uh, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually cheat here. I'm just going to put in, um, I'm going to right click on that, choose rename. I'll just uh, copy that and then in here I'll control alt v and paste that in. So it's, the, the version I've downloaded is project libre dash 1.6.1 dash 1. So press that, let it do its uh, magic. This will change it to a DEB file. Yep, and then the sudo dpkg-i, and then the the package name again. So I'll copy that, control C, and then shift control V, change the package name. Um, it should have saved it in the same directory as this, yeah. So I'll re, uh, rename, I won't rename it, I'm just going to copy that text. And then in here, Shift Control V. Press Enter. I'm already sudo, so it's all right. Um, that'll install uh, Project Libre. There you go. So, would I like to uh, launch this application? You can just type Project Libre in, in there, or just click OK, and it should run. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll fill all that in later. Create project, open project, and all that. I'm not going to run through how to use it. There's plenty of tutorials already online for that, but that's it. Uh, installed um, 1.6.1. So, yeah, it is clunky. It is an awkward way of doing things, but at least it gets the uh, software up and running and uh, ready for use. Okay, cheers. Bye.